For a long time, he was like a well-kept secret. And then, like a chrysalis, he emerged on screen. Macho, cool, with looks that scream heartthrob. Who can stay immune? I'm delighted to welcome back Arjun Rampal. Hi, Arjun. Hi, Sumi. <laughs> Great to have you back. Yeah, thanks for having me back. <laughs> <laughs> so much has happened in your life since you were last here. We have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Ready? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you've been doing a lot of recently. Yeah. <laughs> You're really on a buzz. Well, God's been kind. Things are rocking. Things are going good, yeah. My films came out and... Uh, I got a good amount of appreciation from the audiences, yes, did. even though my films didn't do that well, yeah. as I would have wanted them to, but uh, they recognized me as an actor. Yeah. So, yeah, that feels good. But uh, in your case, you always had attention, Arjun. It's not that something new. You always had a fan following. Well, not always. <laughs> well, while you were a model as well. Yeah, when I was a model, people did appreciate my work and it, the going was good as a model and uh, there was that adulation and all of that. I remember when we were in Calcutta years ago, you ha your film hadn't been released as yet. Right. They called out your name and all the college girls started <laughs> screaming. <laughs> I'd paid all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But um, in that sense, you've, you've always been a star even before becoming a movie star. I wouldn't say that. I guess uh, those people who must have cheered for me at that point in time knew me as a model. Yeah. Uh, a movie star is a totally different ball game. So. That's true. So you're enjoying being an actor? Yeah, a lot. Are you enjoying it more than when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I was never an actor when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't forget the time you used to play mummy and daddy with your sister. <laughs> Where do you get this from? From your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and that meant mummy and daddy go to the movies. And the movies meant that your sister Komal would sit as the audience and Arjun would enact the entire movie. Well, actually what it really was, was that um, we used to get an allowance, you know, 10 rupee allowance a month. And uh, I knew that my, every time I did a sad scene for my sister, I would go and I'd beg her for some money. And she'd <laughs> cry and give me all her allowance. And that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd say, okay, now it's time for interval. Yeah. So, mummy always carries the money in the purse. So, now give me the money. I have to go and get you something. So, she'd give me the money. I'd go, I'd go get her something from the refrigerator and give it to her. And when she'd ask me for the money back, I'd be like, but we paid for it. <laughs> How mean you are. So I was quite mean that way. I think my mom misinterpreted it, <laughs> that in a sweet way, but there she didn't go. know what was going on. But my sister always pulls my ears for that, yeah. even now. I remember the last time you were here, you know, we had just started our series and you were just beginning your film career. I think you just faced the camera for the first shot and that right. was with Manisha. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll never forget it. Oh my God. So how, how was your first day on the set? Did it was it absolute, absolutely <laughs> insane. <laughs> As we were shooting, this Manisha is, doing, is the co-star. Okay. And uh, Manisha, who comes across as a very quiet, you know, mm. down-to-earth person, I hadn't hung out with her that much, you know? So I was like, okay, you know, she's like very chill out. And mm. let, I mean, I, I most probably be able to relate with her, you know, in front of the camera. And <laughs> Ashok ji, he came up to us and he said, uh, okay, beta, tomorrow is dialogues so i mean there i was like completely prepared and had like literally mugged up everything you know all the dialogues and everything including manisha's <laughs> there was a show with the camera fingers it. crossed it was action and manisha somehow who's this complete docile girl before she enters frame hears this word action and something happens to her 
ఓకే అండ్ షీ కమ్స్ ఇన్ కంప్లీట్లీ బబ్లీ ఓకే అండ్ చోపి అండ్ సో ఎప్పటి షీ టేక్స్ ఆఫ్ అన్ ఆల్ డైలాగ్స్ అండ్ ఐ వాజ్ జస్ట్ లైక్ సిట్టింగ్ దెన్ ఐ వాజ్ లైక్ విచ్ ఈస్ రియలీ గుడ్ ఐ మీన్ ఈ సో సో ఎనీవేస్ ఐ వెంట్ డిడ్ మై డీప్ బ్రీదింగ్ ఎక్సర్సైజెస్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ ఈ షూట్స్ ఇట్ అండ్ దస్ ది హోల్ థింగ్ ఇన్ వన్ టేక్ ఓ సో ఇట్ వాస్ ఇట్ వర్క్డ్ అవుట్ ఫైన్ మై గాడ్ దట్ వాస్ అ లాంగ్ టైం అగో క్యూట్ హ్ హ్ దట్ వాస్ వెరీ క్యూట్ what <laughs> i feel old <laughs> it was 1997 but your debut hung fire for four years almost five years why i've always thought about that and oh. a lot of people have asked me that but if i had to do it all over again i think i would just want it to go exactly the way it went because i think i grew a lot in that span of time and mm. i got to uh, learn a lot about the medium of filmmaking and uh, that guy you saw he didn't know anything about films and uh, now in the guy you're seeing now he has learned a lot so i think everything happens for the best i've always believed that but at that time you know projects didn't get completed new films weren't happening what was happening in your life well a lot had happened in those four years as well i got married i yes. <laughs> settled down that was a different experience in itself so i'm and i'm glad i had it, that time to spend yes. with my wife but it's not natural to go through four years waiting for the break to happen we used to watch you yeah and we wondered no it was not an easy wait definitely not i mean um uh, there were times when um, i would say that you know maybe i've made the wrong decision yeah. maybe i should have gone back to new york and just continued yeah. modeling there people used to ask What's happening Arjun when is your film releasing yeah. and uh, I'd be like oh I'll tell you when it is releasing yeah it was a hard time yes because I even used to sometimes feel uh, conscious to go out you know yeah. because I knew that people were going to ask me the same mm. question and there was a certain amount of frustration and now as you said you were married you had a wife to support wife to support two dogs yeah, <laughs> yeah it was tough uh, sometimes i would w- worry about where my rental is going to be yeah, paid from sure. and uh didn't you ever get disheartened uh there were a lot of times when yeah i felt oh god you know yeah. what the hell is going on in my life but i mean touch wood uh, and thanks to god i have great friends so i mean those guys said listen man it's a rough time you're going through it it's no big deal mm. you know it's going to happen you know and i was like what's going to happen so you do worry you tend to worry if you have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders mm. and you've taken them on as to how you're going to mm. fulfill them but um, i guess uh, i i'm a god fearing guy i believe in god i used to pray mm. and i guess uh, he saw me through you showed a lot of patience i can write a thesis on it <laughs> not patient you're a zen master <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you're a devout believer in shirdi sai baba yeah so my yeah he's great i, I think he really ring. helped me through and you think at that time that you know oh what's happening what's happening he has a method he has a way of dealing with it so that things work out for the best yeah definitely you moved house about 2 years ago you moved to bandra didn't you right i was in lokanwala before that's when things started changing in your life yeah i'm superstitious about that so place. my yeah. now when i look at <laughs> what happened with you i think uh, the most important thing is positive energy my wife she she'd never lived in lokanwala side she's always been from uh town side or yes. bandra and all her friends are there and i don't think she was very happy as well mm. out there uh and when we both moved to bandra uh i think she was also much happier and to see her happy i think everything just falls into place you know yes. it just starts a chain reaction of positivity all mm. over again but funny thing huh when you moved house Not only did Pyar Ishq Mahabat happen, but the old films got completed as well, apart from new ones coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weird. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, things happen. And uh, when uh, things change, they change drastically. How do they change? Well, Rajiv Rai, he signed me for his film. Yes. Do you know when you were here the last time, I asked you which directors do you want to work with? Yeah. And you mentioned two. You said, Shekhar Kapoor and Rajiv Rai. I want to do a Dhamaka film. That's yeah. what you said. Yeah, and it came true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ask me again. I will. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> yeah, so Rajiv he come down. He was casting for Pyarish Karma, but I done a music video with him. 
I went up, I met him, I said, see Rajiv, I really need your help. Mm. And he said, uh, Arjun, can I see some of your work? We saw a bit of Mok, she saw a bit of Jar. I'd just seen one scene and he said, I don't want to see any more. And he was standing there and he said, uh, you know what? So I said, what? He said, I'd be the biggest ass in the world if I didn't cast you. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'm telling you to your face. He said, don't worry, we are on for the film. And uh, then announcement came. So things then started changing. You've had a, an army-ish sort of a background. Now, my grandparents were in the army, my father was a businessman. And you were brought up in Nasi Kantunman. Yeah, yeah. Your mother was a teacher. Yeah. You were in her class as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you were an outsider in the film industry, did it make it that much more difficult? Yeah, it is a lot more difficult if you don't come from a filmy background. You need gutsy people and there are very few people who take that risk. You need new people to come in. It cannot just be people who are from within the industry who are going to just promote their sons or, you know. Yeah. So when your first film was finally released, how did you feel? I was a nervous wreck. I couldn't feel anything. Really? I was so numb. And then the reviews were good. It was a bit disappointing as well because the movie was not doing that well. Oh. So I was a bit uh, taken aback with that. Mm. So, and but that does happen and uh, you go with it. You've got the biggest banners. You are shooting every single day. And I hear you're charging one crore rupees plus. No, no, nothing like <laughs> that. You'll get me in trouble with the income tax. I hope it's around that figure. <laughs> Somewhere near, huh? Uh-huh. Then... That's good. <laughs> you're working with Aishwarya in her own home production? Well, I've worked with Ash before as a model. That's you right. Know, and she's great fun. In fact, all we do is talk about all the times when we've done shoots or model together. Mm. What a lovely uh, combi you both are. Yeah, but the minute we both look at each other, we both crack up. Right? <laughs> because it's so weird. <laughs> We're like, oh my God, <laughs> we are doing a movie together. It's yes. Like... I remember when she was on my show uh, and I asked her who, did, who she found one of the most good looking men. She mentioned Arjun Rampal. <laughs> <laughs> but remember we had this whole big talk last time you were here about, yeah. about your looks? Yeah. Shall I remind you? <laughs> when did you first realize that you were attractive to the opposite sex? I would say, I mean, when I was really young. Like? <laughs> <laughs> like maybe when I was like about 12. Idiot. <laughs> what happened? I found myself being attracted to women. Shut up. And <laughs> you don't say too much. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. And women. <laughs> and um, I like ventured into that field of going and seeing what I could Get out of them. And, uh, <laughs> Get out of them. What a character. <laughs> what do you dislike most about your appearance? What do you dislike well, most? I'm not going to complain about my appearance. <laughs> <laughs> my hair. My I would teeth. say uh, what I really don't like are my teeth. You know, oh. Because they're like really messed up. How do you rate your looks? Oh, I've forgotten this one. Nine and a half. Oh, 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 oh. You mean half is for the teeth? <laughs> half is for the teeth? No. Oh. <laughs> I think I've got uglier now. I thought you'd update that score. <laughs> no. I don't look at myself like that anymore. You know, if I did at that point in time, uh, I must have been really bad. And I deserve to wait for five years. <laughs> well, now you're three films old, going on four. Right. You're also working with Sushmita and Preeti. Yeah, Sushmita I've worked with as a model before. Preeti. She also, yeah. There's yeah. so many people now from there. Yeah, and uh, so now models can act. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Preeti, yeah, I w was really excited to work with yeah, her. She's lovely. And, uh, she's knows everything. She's Miss Know All. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Preeti loves to talk. Mm. You know, and she's like non-stop. She's mm. full of energy, and she just keeps going at you. 
And that's great. I mean, it's really good to have somebody like that on the set who keeps giving suggestions, who keeps giving ideas and everything, except when it's really cold and we are in New Zealand and we're really freezing and she's like, why don't we do it? I said, why don't we just come here and do the shot? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's freezing. Yeah, but it was great fun. Do you have fun on sets as well? Shooting is the most fun part of filmmaking. Yes. Tell me about the fun times. Well, on this shooting of RK, this film mm. that I've just done with Mr. Bachchan, Akshay yeah. Kumar, Paresh Rabal and Sushmita. Akshay is a complete prankster himself. And we have this producer called Gaurav, who we just love to take his case. <laughs> <laughs> and so what we did one day was, please don't do this at home, but uh, we took his cigarette and we emptied the tobacco out from it and filled gunpowder. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> and then filled it back with tobacco. <gasps> and then he came and he sat down and uh, Don't I picked me. up his packet of cigarettes and I took out that cigarette and I put it in my mouth and I lit it. I took a drag and it's like, uh, Gorong, these cigarettes are stale. And Gorong, the producer, his cigarettes cannot be stale. He pulls the cigarette out of my hand immediately. Hoi nahi sakta. Meri cigarette stale hoi nahi sakti. I London se lata hon. I call for it from the customs office and boom, <laughs> this thing goes off in his face. But we designed it in such a way with the action director that it would just fly out. But the way he jumped out of his chair, he's like, what the hell is that? And we all cracked up laughing. Stale cigarettes. <laughs> you know, as we told you your cigarettes were stale. And then he comes back, he says, you can't do that. What if my face had got know, burnt and this and that? And we knew that was safe, but... Uh, <laughs> He said, it's okay, man, you don't have to come in front of the camera, so you just sit down. And after a little while, there was like a box of elaichi going around. So Akshay took one, I took one, and Gaurang took one. <laughs> and uh, so we both are looking at each other and, you know, we're holding this elaichi in our hands. <laughs> and Gaurang is holding this elaichi in no, his hands. No, but we did. <laughs> okay. Don't trust you. And after a little while we like put it in our mouth and started eat, <laughs> it, eating it. So he smelt it. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally he put it in his mouth. And the minute he put it in his mouth, Akshay ran in this direction and I took off in the other. And Gaurang spat that delight <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> okay, and we both cracked up laughing again. Okay. And he said, Mujhe malum tha, mujhe malum tha, isle maine chabaya <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a plain simple Elaichi. So, <laughs> so we do stuff like that. But at other people's expense, not at our own. <laughs> Love this story. <laughs> He's going to kill me if he sees this show. The last time you were here, you were with Meher. Right. And soon after that, you both got married. Very romantically. <laughs> no? <laughs> Are you still like that? The ultimate uh, romantic? Yeah. I like to surprise the people I love. And uh, you think it all out, you plan it all in your mind. Yeah, it's good because that's what you're working for, you know. That's who you are uh, living for. So, mm. I think uh, still for me, love is the number one... Uh, emotion and then comes everything else. When you and Meher were here, I'd asked her what her idea of perfect happiness is. Do you remember what her answer is? No. What is your idea of perfect happiness? I think I'll be most happy when I have my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, <laughs> she's perfectly happy right now. You just had your baby and you were there for the delivery. Yeah, I was there. I think it's a miracle. Mary said that when the baby was born, she turned and looked at you and you had tears in your eyes. Yeah, it is an overwhelming experience. It is uh, 
something that can never prepare you for anything, Nothing you can. know. So it's uh, pure emotion and uh, I guess you just lose control of everything. And uh, you're helpless at that point in time and the doctors are doing everything and uh, suddenly you see this life coming into the world and giving this scream <laughs> and uh, you can't help but be overjoyed with that. So I guess it's, they were tears of joy. Yes, of course. I remember when I was seeing all that happen, uh, I was praying to God and thanking Him that He made me a man, yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Coward. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. I had soft to women yeah. and uh, mothers. I, I think uh, no wonder children love their mothers so much more and mothers an amazing person in everybody's life, you know, such a special person. She's the one who's already connecting with you before you're even out. And uh, when it all happens, uh, she forgets all about the pain, the everything. She's just got this huge smile on her face. Mm. And it's incredible. You've decided to call her? Mahika. Mahika. What does that mean? Mahika means uh, uh, earth, which is uh, lit by the moon, a moonlit earth. Did you choose this name? Uh, we both did. And as a baby present, you bought your wife a beautiful Lexus. Yeah. Uh, because my wife loves four-wheel drives and it was too difficult to organize a Jag at that point in time, so... Was she thrilled or were you more thrilled? <laughs> I think she was in shock. I think she thought I'd rented it. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> she thought that I'd rented it and was just wanting to take them back home in it. But uh, when I told her that it was yours, she was in shock, yeah. She said, are you sure <laughs> we can afford this? <laughs> I said, well, I just got to work harder. Yes, so having a baby, has it changed the way you see the future? Yeah, of course, you have a baby and uh, every day you leave home and you say that uh, you got to work that much harder and uh, be able to give your child the best of everything. So that is a new thought that is running in your mind now. And yeah, your whole respect for women, for your mom, Everything goes up that much more as you see what they go through. So, a child somewhere down the line does uh, make you more sensitive, I guess. Mm. I remember when I rang you up, it was a Sunday and you were working. And I said to you, I said, Arjun, you're working on a Sunday? You're missing out on your baby. And you said to me, it's for my baby that I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought that was very yeah, sweet. That, that, it's now all for her, yeah. So, in a sense, you're going back to where you were at the age of six. You're playing mommy and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing the movies. Yeah. Nothing has changed except this is for real. Yeah. Well, I hope that the good times last forever for you, Arjun. Thanks. Come, come back next time with an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. My again. pleasure and thanks for having me. Thanks for this one. Thanks.